example of uh, Bitcoin's use is Roya Mahmoud's uh, Women's Annex Foundation. The Women's Annex Foundation trains Afghani uh, women in what they call digital literacy, which is the idea of understanding the web in order to create sustainable economic models and sustainability for oneself. So they help women generate income by creating original content online. Now they accept Bitcoins as donations, which right now is pretty interesting in and of itself. But one thing that they started doing that's very fascinating is actually pay the women that they help. So they pay their, the, the, the women that they assist in Bitcoins because, uh, not because of the cool factor, but because it's free, it's secure, and it requires no personal data or information. It cannot be tracked by the, women, uh, by, by the government. And it only, they only need an address. Um, to, to distribute the funds. But from a fundraising perspective, the most uh, interesting use of Bitcoin thus far is when US based, um, a US-based advocacy organization uh, called Fight for the Future engaged the Bitcoin community last year and launched a Bitcoin exclusive campaign <laughs> in the fall. Now Fight for the Future is Fight for the Future is, is an advocacy org in the United States that basically fights the government and corporate inter interests from relegating or confining the internet and protecting it, basically. You know, like free freedom of speech and all that good stuff. Uh, you know how we like to do things in the US, we create these lovely innovations and then we destroy them for future generations. Um, and late last year, they brilliantly, Fight for the Future as an organization, they brilliantly partnered with the founders of Bitcoin Black Friday. Now, 